Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. We're to set our mind on the things above. We're to have the mind of Christ. We are to remember him at all times. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, too much of Christianity is about visiting God every once in a while. True, a true right relationship with God is about having that relationship with him, walking hand in hand all the time. Remembering him all the time. Having our thoughts focused on him. Having our mind fixed on him. Having our eyes set on him. All right? So when he says remember Jesus Christ, that's not once in a while. That's, that's not just, okay, as we do this study, it is about a lifetime that where your mind is thinking about Jesus Christ all the time. There's a song, I don't remember what period it is, but it was, you are always on my mind. Yes, is that a good old hymn? Yeah. Well, it's a Willie Nelson country western song, but the, that, that's it. You're always on my mind. That's your, on my that should be our anthem. That's that, right. Lord, you're always on our mind. It does say pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. And if you're talking with God, without you're not ceasing. forgetting yeah. who God yeah. is. Or listening yeah. to him. The point here, though, is, and it really is important, is that we develop a habit of living, thinking about, conversing with, mm -hmm. a mind focused on Jesus, on the Father, on the things of God, and how we're to be living the things of God. It's not once in a while, okay? That's not what remember here means. Mm -hmm. He is risen from the dead. If you remember that he is risen from the dead, then you think about the conquering power of God the Father to bring triumph into the life of any believer. Because he has conquered death. And if he can conquer death, if he can save Jesus from the tomb, what is there going on in your life that God can't save you from? Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. You don't have any, I mean, what situation do you have going on in your life right now that is as bad as Christ being crucified, dying, and being buried, laid aside, dead? What, what do you have going on that's worse than that in your life? But God the Father raised him from the dead. That's what, he is risen from the dead. This is one of the most powerful statements I'm telling you. Yes. I, when you need to, I, I share with, let me catch my breath here. <laughs> when Alice was in the hospital last year with cancer, and I said, I, was, I walked by, we were in a, a quote unquote Christian, a hospital run by a, a Christian denomination. And that was a real blessing that we had that because it had a Christian atmosphere mm -hmm. filled with scriptures, scriptures all yeah. over, mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. on staff who knew the Lord, all right? Mm -hmm. So it was easy to converse about the Lord. But there in the book shop, they, or, you know, the, they have a little gift shop. <clears throat> there was a sign, and it said, don't tell God how big your problem is. Tell your problem how big your God is. That's right. When do we get to the place where that's our attitude? There is, we, we sing it, victory in Jesus. There's triumph, there's power in the blood. We need to get into that place where we are confessing the power of God to whom nothing is impossible. Absolutely nothing. And Paul, who's writing to Timothy here, would write to the church in Rome and say, listen, if God loved you so much that he gave his only begotten son, gave him to die, to be buried, and then to rise. What good thing would he withhold from you? If he had the power to raise Jesus from the dead, what are you going on in your life that God can't deal with? You need to keep that in mind. You need to remember that all the time. Because the attacks of the enemy, the trials and tribulations of this world, many are the, are the afflictions, the tribulations of the righteous. They go on all the time. While you're breathing on this planet, you are in a place that, where the enemy roams freely. Yes. And that should be obvious. So think of, so here, you have a problem in your life? Look that problem straight in the eyes because I know where it's coming from. It is coming from the enemy. Mm -hmm. Look that problem in the eyes and say these words, he is risen. He is risen. There's nothing that you can do there's nothing you can do to me, oh enemy, adversary, you silly. There's nothing that you can do that my God cannot deliver me from.